Becoming a storm chaser was the natural course for someone fascinated by severe weather since childhood. My interest in storms developed then, as I photographed lightning from the window of my room, while thunder and howling winds combined in a wave of sound that shook our home. The most magnificent storms on earth exist in Tornado Alley, where I live. The greatest of all is a storm called a supercell. It's a thunderstorm with a persistent rotating updraft that produces the most significant tornadoes and largest hell on earth, as well as prolific lightning and powerful straight line winds. This is the storm I spend long days every year forecasting and tracking. These mountains on the prairie often rise to more than 10 miles high. A supercell is full of motion. There's motion beneath the storm's base and far above within the towering updraft. Everything is spinning counterclockwise around a common center. An elegant, efficient vacuum cleaner it sucks in all the warm, moist, buoyant air it can reach. It is the fuel that drives the engine and keeps it alive. Despite all that can be seen and the havoc these big storms can cause, the fact is they are comprised of only water vapor and wind. Just microscopic particles of H2O that converge and move upward into colder air, where they condense and fall back to the ground as rain or hail. All that twisted into a complex, well-balanced form by wind shear. Individual elements coming together to form something very real and very powerful. A supercell is like an orchestra comprised of many pieces that for a short time produces a masterpiece.
And just like that, it's gone. The symphony has ended, and the musicians have left, going their separate ways. The storm has dispersed, molecule by molecule, into thin air. Order follows chaos. And sometime in the future, chaos will follow order again.